हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू आवर यूट्यूब चैनल बेटर वे ऑफ लर्निंग आर के पन टूडे वी आर बैक अगेन विथ आवर वीडियो ऑन सर्वेइंग एंड वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस विथ यू वन ऑफ द मोस्ट इम्पोर्टेंट पार्ट ऑफ सर्वेइंग दैट इज कंटून ओके अ कंटून इज इमेजिनरी लाइन ज्वाइनिंग द पॉइंट्स ऑफ इक्वल एलिवेशन हियर इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डील विथ सम ऑफ द मल्टीपल चोइस क्वेश्चन रिलेटेड विद द कंटोरिंग I would like to request everyone to note their correct answers and please let us know what score did you get in the comment section. Let's start with the multiple choice questions. And we are going to question number 1. An imaginary line joining the points of equal elevation in the ground is called contour contour gradient contour interval all of the above it is a contour before moving to question number 2 at any time if you think you need time to think for the answer you can pause the video and come back with your answer let's go with question number 2 the vertical distance between two adjacent contour lines is called a contour gradient vertical equivalent contour interval none of the above the correct answer is contour interval moving ahead to question number 3 the line formed along the intersection of the ground surface and level surface is known as contour line watershed line level line any of the above it is contour line Question number four: A contour line intersects a rigid line or a valley line obliquely, perpendicularly, vertically, at an angle. I think you know the correct answer for this one. It is perpendicularly. Question number five: Contour can be found in a dash dash map, political map, topographical map, physical map. thematic map the contour can be found in a topographical map these are found in the topographical maps to represent the features like mountains lakes valleys etc moving ahead to our sixth question how many methods of contouring are present 5 3 2 4 there are two methods of contouring that are present and they are direct method and indirect method in the direct method the points of elevation are located physically and then plotted on the map while indirect method uses contouring with the help of grids grids moving ahead to number 7 indirect methods uses how many methods 3 4 2 6 kati oda method use garcha ta tin oda 3 3 is the right answer the methods are method of square in which the area is divided into square and grid points are taken method of cross section in which the cross sectional points are taken and tachymetric method which is adapted for very steep hills Question number eight: Which of the following methods is used for interpolating contour points between the two points? Arithmetic calculation using measuring tapes, taking pictures of area using the theodolite. What might be the correct answer? Mm. Option A: Arithmetic calculation method. There are three different ways to interpolate contour points between the two points arithmetic calculation method estimation method and graphical or the mechanical method tinta method san arithmetic calculation method estimation method third one is graphical or the mechanical method before moving to question number 9 
if you think we are doing a good job great job good job at least okay job then please like comment and subscribe our youtube channel also share this video to your civil engineering friends so that everyone will be benefited let's go ahead to question number nine the curves used for drawing lines between points in a contour line is radial curves french curve c curve inverted curves french curves french curve are french curves are the curves used for drawing lines between two points the located points are joined by smooth lines or curved curve french curve the number 10 question which shaped lines indicate the presence of a ridge v shaped u shaped l shaped or s shaped u shaped u shaped lines indicate the presence of a ridge the contour line with u shape which has convexity towards a lower ground shows the presence of a ridge convexity towards the lower ground in the picture we can see this convexity towards the lower ground shows a ridge line okay the 11th question is on the line which separates the catchment basin from the rest of the area is ridge line dam line catchment line watershed line what do you think is the answer it is right watershed line the area where the rainwater drains into the river is catchment area of the river the watershed line is then marked the area inside this line measured in the order to study flood level it is generally used in the hydrology to study the flood level number 12 12 the commonly used squares in the method of a contour contouring by square is You have four options to go. The correct correct option for this question is option number C. Five meter by five meter to twenty meter by twenty meter square is used in the method of contouring by square. The vertical distance between any two consecutive contour is called horizontal equivalent contour interval contour gradient reduced level it is contour interval if you have any queries related to contouring you can surely ask us the questions in the comment section learn and let others learn let's be healthy in knowledge question number 14 the contour interval depends upon the nature of ground scale of map purpose and extent of survey all of the above what do you think obviously it's all of the above 15 when the several contours coincides it indicates a vertical cliff a valley a ridge and overhanging cliff several contours coincides okay it is a vertical cliff as in the figure you can see the contours of 20 30 40 and 50 meeting at a point where there is a vertical curve cliff 16th question a closed contour line with one or more lower ones inside it represents a hill a depression a steep surface a cliff 
closed contour line with one or more lower ones inside it what is it a depression while the one with one or more higher inside it represents a hill if the contour line is of higher elevation inside than that of outside it represents a hill but if a contour line is lower inside then it is a depression moving away to our last question of this series question number 17 the method of contouring best suitable for hilly regions is by square by cross section by tachyometry none of these by tachyometry for surveying small areas we use square methods and for roads canals railways we use method of cross section thank you for watching till the end uh, please like comment and subscribe our videos thank you